Hi everybody, my name is Jack. I'm a volunteer for Guitars for Vets. And I was thinking about this the other day that a lot of us have these shapes that we memorize that go from, uh, from the nut area all the way up to as far as we could reach. And so it's like a, a horizontal, a way of looking at the guitar in a horizontal way. For instance, uh, like whatever, an E chord becomes a G chord, becomes an A chord, etc., etc. I was just thinking about it now as a, a vertical thing. So, for instance, if you take and you try up, just play a plain D7 as a triad, three notes. And then you move it down. So you keep the same finger, finger position, same layout. You go from D7, where you're on the G, the B, and the E strings, and move it down to the D, the G, and the B string. You now have as a triad, that could be called A major 7, it could be called C sharp minor, it could be called E6. And if we move it down another one, it becomes B7. If I move it down another one, it's F sharp 7. Okay, another one I was thinking about is uh, the power chord shape. Let's say we start off in a G power chord, just plucking three strings. And if I move it down, same position, that's now a C power chord. If I move it down another string, it becomes an F major 7. If I move it down another one, it's a B flat major 7 flat 5. Now you could argue different points. Well, you think it's at this chord or that chord. They're all related in general. All right, so if we use the E shape as an example, but three strings only. If I move it down, it's a B. I move it back up. It's an E. I move it down another string. It's an A minor. I move it down another string. It's an A sharp 5 or say an A augmented or even you could call it an F sharp F sharp 5 or an F augmented. Now if we take the G shape Let's forget about this finger because we're only playing three strings. So here we have G. If I move it down, it's now a C chord. If I move it down another one, it becomes an F flat 5. And if I move it down another one, it's a B flat minor flat 5. So it's very interesting that you could use the same finger shapes and get all these different chords just by moving vertically. And uh, I got one more. There might be even more, but uh, I just prepared these five. If you use the D shape, if we move it down one string, Arguably, you could call it an E diminished, a C sharp diminished, or a B flat diminished. If I move it down another string, it's a B7 flat 5. If I move it down another string, it's an F sharp 7 flat 5. It may not be pretty, but it exists. And the reason why it's not pretty is because sonically it's so low down in the register. But anyway, I just thought that was interesting, and maybe somebody else would think it was interesting. So, thanks. Take care.